Hey guys, this is a video outside my regular content, but I've been talking about this WeBoost mobile cellular signal booster for quite a while already, and I want to get this review out to you guys because I'm excited to start using it. I want to get it installed, and so I'm going to show you guys how easy this is and how much it benefits me. I've for Canadian drivers especially, you know the struggles of going through Northern Ontario and British Columbia where there's long patches of no service. I'm hoping this is going to help me out quite a bit. So I'm going to install it here and uh, show you guys what it does for me. It says up to 32 times better cellular coverage. Stop drop calls now, cell phone signal booster. I'm that's talking to us in Northern Ontario. The, I know you're all frustrated with those drop calls up there. This is the Drive 4G X OTR. It's a truck edition. So it's got like a signal, uh, 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 an antenna that mounts on your mirror and whatnot. I'm gonna open it up right here and show you what's all in here. Let's see. I'm actually excited to see this too. I've been wanting to install this for so long already. All right, come on. Come on, open up there, girl. Come on. So this is what it looks like when it comes to you. Okay, so here's the antenna that you'd mount on your mirror, I'm guessing. Uh, the little antenna that you mount inside your truck, this is what'll actually give you the better signal inside the truck. Okay, the mirror mount for that big antenna. It's almost like a CB antenna, eh? It's huge. Thanks. Some more accessories there. This is the, the actual Wii Boost, the booster itself. Yeah, I'm excited to get this on the truck here. This is why I'm making a separate video just for this, because I'm really excited about this, and I know most drivers up here in Canada and across the United States who struggle with bad cell phone reception can really appreciate something like this. So I figured I'd make a, a separate video just showing you guys this. This is apart from my regular content. This is just something extra for you guys to, to look at. So it's pretty obvious how these things work. You know, it takes the signal from the tower into the antenna, into the booster, boosts it, that's what a booster does, and then it amplifies that boosted signal through the cab of your truck. It comes with a handy install guide for people who like to read the instructions. In this case, I will read the instructions, you know, just so I get it done right. <laughs> the instructions are very easy to follow. Pretty much you just gotta set up the antenna onto the mount, just like I did here. Pictures and everything to help you out, and then Mount that slim indoor antenna, which is the signal booster inside the cab on the side of one of your seats, or 18 inches, but no more than 36 inches from where the cellular device will be used. And then pretty much just connect the dots, connect the, connect the cords together, and you got yourself a cell phone booster. Super easy to install. So I decided to mount mine onto my passenger side mirror. That cable that goes right in through the door there, it says right in the instructions that it's thick enough and strong enough that with the door opening and closing on it, it shouldn't make a difference, it shouldn't damage it. So they've made it strong enough for that. But I put it on the passenger side anyways, just because this door opens and closes the least amount. So that's the antenna. So I have the cords running from outside into my glove box, just for now, temporary solution, just for time's sake. Uh, this is kind of a mess in here right now, but I've got all the wires tucked in here. I've got the outside uh, antenna attached in there. Then the inside antenna, I ran up around here just for now and it comes out along here and then it's mounted right here so it should give good reception to the whole front of the cab right that's the inside antenna that's where I decided to mount mine so this is just for time's sake uh, I'm going to clean up all these wires more in here and you know ravel them all up and tie them together as soon as I get a chance but I just wanted to show you what this thing does right now so that's the booster there so it's off that light should be green if it's on it's off. It's just a simple switch on the cigarette light lighter outlet, on the 12 volt outlet, whatever you call it. I don't think they call it cigarette outlets anymore. I will flick that switch and you'll see the green light turn on on that there. So I just put that all in there just for now, just to keep it all neat and off the floor so that the weasel isn't tripping over it and whatnot. All right, so it's two days later for me now. I've had the Wii Boost for two days installed to test it out so that I can properly give you guys an accurate review of what it does. What I've done is I've downloaded an app called uh, Network Cell Info Light. I was gonna say Cell Network Info Light. Network Cell Info Light, just to show you the difference in the signal strength. So this is the signal strength that I'm sitting at right now. And uh, you can tell it's in the yellow, just below the green. 
It's been sitting there for about five minutes. I've just left my phone here just to make sure it's not going to move around on me. So we got a, a steady signal there. It goes just into the one bar into the green. Keeps going back and forth. Just one or one bar back and forth. Okay. Let's see what it does when I turn on the Wii Boost. So give it a minute or two to wind up. And you can already see it jumping up right there. You see that? Boosting the signal. But it does do what it says it does. It takes the signal that's already there and it boosts it. I've never had a cell phone booster before so I, I didn't know what to expect. So this is my first mobile cell phone booster. Uh, Jade and John have been telling me about them for years already. And I always wanted to try one out so we both sent me this one to try out to see what I thought of it. So it does what it says it does. It takes the signal boost. It's pretty simple. Uh, this was just a video I did outside my regular content. I like to do these reviews every now and then just to fill you guys in in products that you might be interested in as well. Just sort of give you tips of the trade and give you insight into little tools that'll make life easier on the road. So once again we're gonna watch this uh, needle drop here as I turn off the Wii Boost. Turn off. Let's watch this needle drop just so you see that it wasn't just a fluke before. Give it a minute or two to wind down, and there you go, you can see it going down, 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 down. Oh, way into the yellow here. All right, let's turn it back on one more time. Turn it on. And there, you can already see the signal jumping up into the green. And when you're in the green, that's good. That means full service. As long as you're in the green, that's good. It's kind of fun, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Let's turn it off again. Let's turn it off, all right? See what happens. And there it goes. <laughs> so it does work. That's good to know. So I've mounted the indoor antenna right here in the center of the console up here, but I might move it yet. I'm thinking I might want to move it a little bit more, maybe mount it right back here behind my head so that it's even closer to me. The closer you are to that, the better your signal is. That's what I've found. If you mount it all the way across the truck, the booster doesn't work quite as well. It has to be within like one to three feet away from your device, which I thought this would work perfect up here, right? But I found that if I hold, the closer I hold my phone to it, the better the signal is. So I want to get a little bit closer to where I'm regularly holding my phone. One more thing to point out that I just noticed. I have my phone over here now. The antenna mounted up there. You'll get a better signal if you point this at where you are. It's a directional, obviously a directional signal. It's blowing out this way. So uh, when I have it up here and I have my phone down here on the dash before, it wasn't quite, quite as strong. It's a little bit stronger if you just you know, pointed in the right direction. So that's my thoughts on the Wii Boost cell phone booster. It does its job what it's supposed to do. Um, really looking forward to having better cell signal running through Canada where the cell phone networks aren't as developed as other places. Are my sunglasses on crooked? Or is just my face crooked? What's going on here? Bothering me, else. So I, I can see myself in the screen of it. Anyways, nothing to do with the review. Have a good day, guys. My regular content is always up at 4 a.m. Central Time. I do daily vlogs. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. I make daily videos, which is my, like I say, my regular content. This is just a review that I do on the side. This is why this was released at a different time. Not my regular content, but I give it a thumbs up. They did a great job at Wii Boost. Good job. I don't know how you guys do that. I couldn't make a cell phone booster.